Next, we look at the relationship between vapor pressure and boiling point. A liquid boils when its vapor pressure is equal to the external or atmospheric pressure. So as you can see, the rise in vapor pressure with increasing temperature is not linear, but exponential. That means it increases more at higher temperatures. So at normal atmospheric pressure, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees C. On this graph, you can see the effect of changing atmospheric pressure on the boiling point of water. So at higher atmospheric pressure, for example in a pressure cooker, the boiling point of water increases to about 120 degrees. At lower atmospheric pressure, for example at the top of Mount Everest, the boiling point of water decreases to about 60 degrees. So as atmospheric pressure increases, the boiling point increases. And as atmospheric pressure decreases, the boiling point decreases. Next, we'll have a look at the effect of intermolecular forces on vapor pressure. On this graph, we have ethoxyethane, ethanol, and water. Ethoxyethane has dipole-dipole attractions between the molecules. Ethanol has hydrogen bonding between the molecules. And water has stronger hydrogen bonding between the molecules. Here we can see the effect of these intermolecular forces on the boiling point. Ethoxyethane has the weakest intermolecular forces of the three, therefore it has the lowest boiling point. Next is ethanol. It has the second highest boiling point because it has the second strongest intermolecular forces. And water has the highest boiling point because it has the strongest intermolecular forces. So molecules with weaker intermolecular forces have lower boiling points. Molecules with low boiling points are said to be volatile. And in terms of vapor pressure, molecules such as ethoxyethane that have weak intermolecular forces, they have a high vapor pressure. And molecules with strong intermolecular forces such as water, they have a low vapor pressure. Next we look at enthalpy of vaporization. The enthalpy of vaporization is the energy required to convert one mole of substance from a liquid to a gas. So here's the equation for water, one mole of water as a liquid being converted to one mole of water as a gas, and the enthalpy of vaporization is 40.7 kilojoules per mole. Molecules with strong intermolecular forces, such as water, have high enthalpies of vaporization. Molecules with weak intermolecular forces have low enthalpies of vaporization. And finally, a summary. So we have intermolecular forces, enthalpy of vaporization, vapor pressure, and boiling point. So the relationship is strong intermolecular forces mean a high enthalpy of vaporization, which means a low vapor pressure, which has a high boiling point. And weak intermolecular forces has a low enthalpy of vaporization, a high vapor pressure, and a low boiling point. So the vapor pressure depends on the temperature and on the strength of the intermolecular forces. The higher the temperature and the weaker the intermolecular forces, the higher the vapor pressure.